Okay? We have a lot of things to celebrate over the course of the next three mornings. And this morning you're going to be receiving your yearbook, your 2023 yearbook, so that's really uh, exciting. Yep. After you get your yearbooks, I'll be sending the lower school back uh, to class. In upper school we have awards that will be presented by the language teachers, uh, Mrs. Benevento and um, Mrs. Rodriguez McLean as well. Okay, so let's start with our Pledge of Allegiance. Our, co our president here today is going to lead us. Uh, Edith, go ahead. This point, you all have an idea as to who this special teacher is 
And without further ado, the class of 2023 is pleased and honored to dedicate this year's yearbook to Mrs. Maria Newman. Thank you, Valentina, for giving that beautiful speech, and congratulations to Mrs. Newman again. Very well deserved. So, all of the seniors, our eighth graders behind me here, worked very hard on this year's scripta. They helped design their senior pages, they pulled together the photos that they wanted to share, uh, they selected the info that they wanted to share, and things that they wanted Buckley students in the future to know about what it was like being a student in their time, in, in their generation of 2023. Uh, they chose their own nicknames, and I am going to share those nicknames with you as I present each of them their yearbook. So first up, we've got Viana Budasing, Class TJ Max. Grace Butler, class grass. Morgan Butler, class Morganini. Soleil John, class sunshine. Dr. E. 
Ian Malcolm, which I think is very appropriate. And last but not least, Sarah Spurlock Shackleton, class sweetheart. So when Mrs. Long said she was helping with a yearbook, she really did this whole thing. So let's give her a big round of applause. Thank you for the centennial yearbook. So thank you so much, to Mrs. Long. So eighth graders, uh, while I dismiss those who I'm going to ask you to return your yearbook for the reason we discussed earlier, because you're going to be distracted. Then go back to your seats. First graders, you may go. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, this morning will be presented by Ms. Mrs. Rodriguez McLean. Uh, 
uh, let it go, right? So, yeah. All right. <laughs> the next award is the Nisma Award presented by Dr. Glenn.
I'll start moving on to other instruments. Tiffany Chen, cello.
Chinese language education and cooperation. And it's an international standardized test for Chinese language proficiency. It assesses young foreign students' ability to use Chinese in their daily and academic lives. For level, level 1 to 4, the test has listening and reading test only tests. Chinese only tests, sorry. The fifth graders took a YCT level 1 test in May, March. Level 1 requires students to master 80 vocabulary words and able to understand and use commonly used Chinese words and sentences and are able to pursue field for the study of Chinese. We have 10 students took the test this year and I am glad to announce that they all passed. Please stay on your seat and your certificate will be delivered to your classroom. And please hold your applause until the names has been announced. So all the fifth graders, they are Dylan Ferrucci.
Okay, thank you, Ms. Grove. Next is um, Mrs. Collins for Latin. Good morning. I'm Katie Collins. I'm the 7th and 8th grade Latin teacher. Um, all 7th and 8th grade Latin students take the national Latin exam. We took it online this year for the first time. Um, we took it in March and um, the students were among um, 100,000 students to take it um, across the country and actually out of 13 other countries. Um, we have a number of awards today, and um, the exam is a 40-question exam that covers um, basic grammar, sentence structure, vocabulary, Roman culture, ancient history, um, geography. There's a little um, reading section that then students answer comprehension questions about, and um, students did wonderfully here at Buckley. Okay, um, I'm going to start with the seventh grade. Our first award goes to Gabriel Thomas, Magna Cum Laude. Collins, 
Dugo. She's coming. She's bringing all the furniture over there. Oh, yeah.
this year we have two gold medals, and um, which is a great accomplishment. The gold medal earned are they usually um, they earned above the 95 percentiles. Now the two students here at Buckley, one of them within the 97 percentile and the other one the 99 percentile to the top of the list. Without further ado, the first one is Ana Calvo. He is a graduate. Thank you, Senora Lugo. Uh, we have one more set of awards to be presented by Mrs. Benevento, the Nassau County Reader. Good morning. So each year, Buckley participates in the Nassau Reading Council Young Authors Contest. It gives students all over Nassau County the opportunity to tell their story in a personal narrative and celebrate the art of writing. This year we had five eighth graders whose writing was submitted by Mrs. Newman and me. We'd like to congratulate them for their participation. When you hear your name, please come up for your certificate. They don't know they're getting these certificates, by the way. Grace Butler. Eden Clarkson. Valentina Lopez. Yeah. Now with the hundreds of entries that are submitted on each grade level, we did have one eighth grader who was the winner of the Young Authors Contest in Nassau County. Uh, she was presented with her award last week in Manhasset where she had a chance to read her story. And that student is Hosley Reyes. Congratulations to all our writers. Thank you. All right. Well done. Congratulations to all of our students and the award recipients. Um, thank you, parents, for being here. And thank you to all the teachers who taught them. All right, so I know you're anxious to get your yearbook signed now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismiss the parents. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody. So